All right, Matrix, welcome to our second video on VAT. What we're going to be looking at is how to work with VAT and the calculations and how it usually is applied to different items. So let's take a look at that. So we will encounter VAT in three ways. The first way we will find is VAT exclusive prices. This is the price before VAT is added. You will find that most uh, big wholesalers, etc., who are selling to other retailers are going to be using VAT exclusive prices. It, you have to add the VAT onto it before we uh, can deal with anything uh, after that. Then we've got VAT. VAT of 15%. It's 15% of the exclusive price. Okay, so that means that you take the exclusive price, you calculate what 15% of it is, and you add it to the exclusive price to get what we know as the VAT inclusive price. Okay, this is the price after VAT is added. If you went to the wholesalers, you'd see the VAT exclusive price and then the VAT would be added. Whereas if you're going to pick and pay or checkers or one of those stores, you're going to find the inclusive price put onto the tag because generally you'll find that the people buying from there are not going to be VAT vendors, so they can't claim any VAT back. Well, that's an issue for another day. Right, so to make it a little bit easier for you to understand, you're going to think about the VAT exclusive price as 100%. VAT is 15%, or, you know, obviously it's 15 parts of the 100%. And so the VAT inclusive price will then be 115%. That is very, very important for you to remember. So always think VAT exclusive, 100%. VAT is 15% and the VAT inclusive is 115%. So how do we calculate with the different values? Okay, so here is a, a really simple little uh, trick that you can use. What you want in rands, so if you want the VAT inclusive amount in rands, you have to take what you've been given in rands, usually your VAT exclusive amount and multiply it by what you want over what you have. So you would substitute in those percentages, the 100% and the 15% to get what you want. All right, so let's take a look at a little bit of examples because obviously talking about it by looking at this formula isn't terribly helpful. So let's have a look. This example, the VAT on a product it's 37 Rand 50. Calculate the VAT exclusive price and the VAT inclusive price. Okay, so let's take a look at the formula that I've put in here and the answer. So my VAT exclusive price, what I want in Rands, is equal to the VAT that I've been given in Rands. What I want is the VAT exclusive amount. So I'm going to use my 100, because remember, VAT exclusive always is 100%. And what I have is the 15%. So I've taken what I've been given in rands over what I want in percentage over what I have in percentage. If I'm going to look at the inclusive amount, let's take a look at that. So I want the VAT inclusive amount in rands. I take my 37 Rand 50, which is what I've been given, what I have in Rands, and then multiplying it by 115% or 115 over 15. What I want is 115, and what I have is 15. Okay, so we can always take a look at it and remember these things. Always think about that formula. It's probably the simplest way to look at it you get better at it if you practice it a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at some extra examples for VAT. So we're going to be working with that formula again, where we're going to make it really simple of what I want in rands is equal to what I have in rands multiplied by what I want percentage over what I have percentage. All right, now the percentages that I'm talking about VAT exclusive, I'm going to use 100 
for that I only need to use 15 and for that inclusive I'm going to use 115 okay we are not going to put in it converted to a percentage but actually just use these whole numbers for our formulas just remember that okay so let's take a look at a little example here where say for example we have been given the uh, VAT exclusive all right the VAT exclusive price is 799 rand and 99 cents all right now what i want to work out is two things i want to work out what the vat is so if i want the vat i've been given the vat exclusive amount of 799.99 all right and what i want is the vat amount all right so i want my 15. I want my 15 there. So we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it by what I want, which is 15, over what I have, which is VAT exclusive. All right, VAT exclusive, which is going to be 100 Rand. Okay, or 100%, should I say. And from there, it's fairly straightforward 799, 99 multiplied by 15 over 100 or 15 percent itself would give me one one nine and 99 eight five which we could actually round to 120 rand okay so we would round that off to 120 rand if i wanted the vat inclusive amount you actually have two options here. You can be lazy and use this amount and just add it straight forwards, but let's use our formula. So what I have is 799.99, okay? Then what I have is my VAT in exclusive amount. I want my VAT inclusive, so I'm gonna take my 115 and put it over my 100, okay? So that what I want, percentage, and what I have percentage are agreed there. Okay, so fairly straightforward. I just type this into my calculator, 799.99 multiplied by 115 over 100. And that'll give me 919 Rand and 99 cents. Okay, it's not terribly complicated there right as i said there is a an or here so my alternative option here would have been fairly straightforward i would have just taken my 799 rand and 99 cents and added my 120 rand to it okay which would have given me 919 rand 99 okay so it's not a terribly complicated sort of thing but let's take a look at another example then okay now instead of having my vat exclusive amount what i've been given is my vat inclusive amount let's make this a separate example okay so now i'm given vat inclusive all right say we're going to work with uh, 1,495 Rand. Okay, so somewhat straightforward. If I want to work out how much VAT was put on that, all right, my VAT will be equal to my 1,495. What I want is my VAT, so I want 15 of that. What I've been given is my VAT inclusive amount. Remember that is 115 okay that is my 115 over there so let's use this my 115 115 and once again type it into the, the trusty calculator and we get 195 rand okay so that was my vat on this amount once again if you want to work out something else here so say we're going to go for the vat exclusive amount 
Okay, you have your two options. I'm going to use the formula based one here. So what I want, I want to get my VAT exclusive amount. All right, sorry, I left that out. VAT exclusive. And what I have been given is my VAT inclusive amount. All right, so I'm going to take 1495, multiply by 100 over 115, and I get 1300. Okay, so that would have been my VAT exclusive amount. Okay, that's my VAT exclusive amount. And once again, if we want to use the other method, fairly straightforward. I can take my 1495 and subtract from it my VAT amount that I worked out earlier and that would give me 1300 Rand as my VAT exclusive amount. Okay, so one way or another these all work out. But I usually like to use this formula because it makes a little bit more sense in uh, cases like this where we can make sure that everything is right. So just remember we're going to use the formula, which is what I want in rands is equal to what I have in rands multiplied by what I want percentage-wise over what I have percentage-wise. And we just use our little key there. Okay. Okay. Now, how does VAT work? So, how VAT works. Every time the value of goods it's increased. So every time the value of the goods is increased, VAT will be implied to that increase. Therefore, VAT will need to be paid to SARS. That's why it's called value added tax. So if you have something that is simple and you're making it more complicated, you're going to have to pay the VAT or the tax on the improvement, the increase in the value. We'll take a look at it in an example now. Okay, only businesses who are registered as VAT vendors pay VAT to SARS and are able to claim back any VAT that they have paid to their suppliers. So if you think about it, if they had paid any VAT to their suppliers, then their supplier would be submitting that VAT uh, for their amount that they added, the value, and we only have to pay, or the business that is improving the value, is marking up the price, changing it into something else, will need to then pay the VAT on only the difference between the value of VAT on the finished item and so on. We'll take a look at an example now. So, for example, very simple one. A tree is cut down and the wood is sold. The wood is turned into planks. Those planks are made into a bookshelf. All right. At each point, the value would be increased. Okay. To change a tree into uh, into a plank, it's going to involve something. It's going to involve work. Someone's going to expect that there will be an increase in the value of that wood now. And when the planks are made into a bookshelf, once again, labor is added, a markup is added, and so value would be increased. If we take a look at it in this simple situation, the tree was worth a hundred rand. So we go from cutting down a tree, we add the value of a hundred rand now that we've cut down the tree. The VAT on that would be 15%, so 15 rand. So the tree itself would be sold for 115 rand to the sawmill or whoever is changing this wood into planks. Okay. Now remember, the value of the tree when they sell it is 100 Rand. So, when we change these, the, the tree into planks, we're going to add 100 Rand's worth of value. I'm exclu excluding the VAT that had to be paid. Because that isn't actually going to go to the person who cut down the tree, it's going to SARS. So we're not going to think of it as part of the value of the tree. So we've added a hundred rands worth of value to this tree. So the VAT on that improvement is going to be 15% of that 100 rand. So altogether, we're going to take the 115 rand that the tree was bought for, add the 100 rands worth of extra value and the VAT, and sell the wood to the furniture maker to make the bookshelves for 230 rand. Now, the bookshelf person, they can take it and do quite a lot of work to it, add some other things to it, right? And make it 
a 600 rand bookshelf. The value that was added this time is 400 rand. So we take a look at how much that would be. It's 60 rand worth of VAT that gets added. So remember, we have to take the original 230 rand that the wood would cost for the planks, add the 400 rand of improvement, add the 60 rand of VAT, and so the uh, furniture maker, the person who built the bookshelf, would sell it for 690 rand, including VAT. All right, excluding VAT, it would be 600 rand. Now, what if the lumberjack, the person cutting down the tree, and the person changing it into planks, they didn't, they weren't registered for VAT, okay? So their portion doesn't count. Or the person making the bookshelves actually cut down the tree originally. So what if the business making, if what if only the business making and selling the bookshelves was registered? Okay, so if we took the selling price, 690 Rand, inclusive of VAT, and we calculated the VAT on it, we want the VAT, we have the inclusive amount, what we want is the VAT, so we have 15% or the 15 over what we have, 115 of it, it's 90 Rand. You will see that it's exactly the same amount of VAT that gets paid in the end to SARS. So one way or another, SARS will get their 90 Rand of VAT, be it in little chunks of uh, 15, 15 and 60 to give them the 90 Rand, or just the 90 Rand straight off the 600 Rand's value of the bookshelf, they will get their tax. All right, hopefully that's clear enough, and I've made that simple enough for you. Thank you. Stay safe.